Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Main Stage News, and today I've got a little bit of Black Ops 2 information for you guys. Evidently, three days from the day, the day that I'm recording this, today is August 4th. Three days from now, they're going to be releasing a Black Ops 2, what I'm guessing is going to be a, like, teaser trailer like they always do before they start releasing a bunch of information. So this Tuesday, y you should expect to see some Black Ops 2 multiplayer trailers. What I want to talk about is whether or not you guys are, like, pumped for this game, whether or not you guys are looking forward to this game, whether or not I'm looking forward to this game. Now, I'm, I'm kind of excited for it. Kind of, part of me is, part of me isn't. Half of me says, just another Call of Duty, no big deal. Same as last year, and the year before that, and the year before that, and wait a second, the year before that. Part of me saying that, and the other half of me is saying, you know, they're, they're saying they're gonna change everything up, it's gonna be different, but then the other half kinda takes over and says, no, it's, just, it's the same engine, it's the same game, there's not really gonna be a whole lot different b besides, like, the layout. That's like somebody getting excited for like Microsoft 2013 over Microsoft Word 2012. Like it's it's the same exact thing, just a different layout. It, not really much to get excited for anymore. Is Black Ops 2 gonna sell in you know record numbers again? Yeah, probably. Is Black Ops 2 gonna have millions of people playing it? Probably. But what is killing Call of Duty is the fact that we used to play play the crap out of the game all the way until November, until the next game came out. And then we started getting bored of the rehashing and the rehashing and the rehashing. I mean, we can't we can't sit here and play the exact same game for five years or whatever, six, seven years. They've gotta change it up. Either they're eventually gonna have to put a new engine in the game when the new consoles come around, or Call of Duty's gonna die. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. If they don't do something drastically different besides changing the layout a little bit like they're gonna do in Black Ops 2 more than likely I mean I hope I'm wrong I hope they change a bunch of stuff but if that's all they do they, and they keep doing little stuff like that Call of Duty is gonna die without a doubt some of you might be thinking oh yeah Halo 4 is gonna throw Call of Duty off their pedestal some of you are probably thinking Battlefield 4 yeah that's gonna throw Call of Duty off their pedestal I think Call of Duty is going to be the king of FPS's until the new systems come out. The Xbox 720, the PS4, whatever they're going to be called. Call of Duty is still going to be king of consoles, FPS's, until those games come out. I don't even see how another another game company would be able to throw them off the rails, off their pedestal. I don't even think it's possible. Personally, I want to see Respawn Studio make an amazing game for the next console. For those of you who don't know, Respawn Studio, <coughs> Infinity Ward actually had like a big lawsuit, I guess it'd actually be Activision, but there was a, like a big lawsuit over payment and everything, and half of the geniuses that made Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2, half of them left and went to EA and formed a gaming company called Respawn Studio. And that's one of the reasons why Modern Warfare 2 didn't get the support that it needed, because they were going through a big lawsuit. I mean, not that they, Activision didn't already have enough money, but they were trying to get more money, money that they thought they deserved whatever I'm, I'm not gonna get into that right now but i think it's gonna take a game like respawn studio the game company like respawn studio rather to throw call of duty off of their rails you might be asking well why exactly will a new system make call of duty go away why will it make call of duty die well here's my thoughts on it call of duty has been using the same exact ancient engine so old now They've been using the same engine since Call of Duty 4, and, I mean, they're pretty good with that engine. They're good with that engine, they know that engine like the back of their hand, so making a game with that same engine is extremely easy for them. Now, I'm, I'm not sure if they can use a new engine in a year, make a new game with a new engine, and actually make a, make a good game. I, I honestly don't think that they can. I don't think that they have... Not necessarily a talent, but the skills since they've been working with the same exact engine since Call of Duty 4. I mean, it's been forever. Unless they decide to, you know, take two years to make a game at least with the new engine on the new consoles, 
I don't think they're gonna be able to make a good game, but I don't know. Maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe just they'll make a good game. I I don't know. Maybe they actually will make a good game and will love it just as much as our Call of Duty 4. I could be completely wrong here. Anyways, the gameplay is about wrapping up, you guys. Just in case you forgot, with all my rambling about Call of Duty's success, there will be a multiplayer reveal trailer this Tuesday, the 7th, August 7th, obviously. And personally, I can't wait to see exactly what they did. I think it's going to be a good game. I'm going to play the crap out of it like every other Call of Duty. But will I absolutely love it? I don't know. I mean, it's still Call of Duty, so I can't not like it. They're just changing the layout on the game a little bit. But I think I will definitely like it as long as they don't have the terrible spawn system that they have in Modern Warfare 3. As long as they have a good spawn system, I'll be happy with the game. But anyway, I think that's about it. Drop your comment below telling me what you guys think about it. Don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye.